Welcome to the Living the Dream Podcast with Curveball. If you believe, you can achieve. Welcome to the Living the Dream with Curveball Podcast, a show where I interview guests that teach, motivate, and inspire. Today, we're going to be talking about helping women during their menopausal years and beyond, as I am joined by the co-founder of Nourish Doc, Amita Sharma. Amita, as I said, has developed this holistic wellness platform to be able to help women in their menopausal years and beyond. So we're going to talk to her about everything that she's up to and how how she is making the world a better place. So Amita, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much, Curtis. I really appreciate when a guy interviews me, as I was mentioning earlier. So I'm I'm very grateful. Absolutely. I, I try to touch all of my listeners' needs. Why don't you start off by telling everybody a little bit about yourself? Yeah, so I, as you mentioned, I am co-founder of Nourish Talk. So the idea behind Nourish Talk is really helping women when they're starting their perimenopause journey all the way to postmenopause and beyond and helping them embrace a holistic lifestyle. And this is something that I personally developed because of my personal journey, having worked in high-tech industry with so much stress that I did not even know when perimenopause hit me and I had a lot of embarrassing moments. So fast forward, this is something I developed a lot of passion to help other women and that's what I'm trying to do now. Okay, well, you, I know you're the co-founder. Do, do you want to tell us a little bit about y- your partner? Uh, well, my partner is a tech uh, um, you know, he's been in the tech industry for the last 20, 30, 25 years or so. And I come from a product business background and I'm the face behind this uh, brand because, you know, I, I am a woman and he's a guy. So I guess we need a woman in front. Uh, so that's sort of uh, I'm I'm really trying to address culture sensitivity within this journey of uh, perimenopause to menopause as this journey can be different for different ethnic groups as well. Well, explain to the listeners what perimenopause is and, and, and why we need to pay attention to it. Yes. So, you know, most of the women, if you ask anyone on the street, they will say they will understand what menopause is. But you, if you ask them about perimenopause, they're like, oh, what is it, right? So I don't know if you know about perimenopause or not, but <laughs> um, so perimenopause is really the stage leading up to menopause. That's the definition. And it's a transition stage for a woman. And it's not like a switch one day, you know, your menstruation stops. It's not a switch for women. Um, it's it's a long transition and it could be as many as 10 or maybe for some women, 12 years. So an average menopause age is, let's say, 51, 52. Women can start uh, uh, getting into perimenopause in 40s or even early 30s. So can you imagine um, nowadays women are getting married later because they're financially independent? And I've heard so many of these stories that she started into perimenopause and then suddenly... uh, you know, because of the irregular periods, she could not start a family. And all these stories can happen to women. So so the reason perimenopause is so important is the transition phase that's happening. If we don't take care of ourselves during this time, after menopause, the data says, according to CDC, 80% of the women over 55 have one chronic condition. So that is why it is so important for mid-aged women to take care of themselves. Well, for those who might not know, tell us some of the symptoms of perimenopause and menopause. 
Yes. So perimenopause, like I said, is just beginning, like transition to menopause. So 40 years, you know, if a woman is a 40 year old, the first symptom typically is irregular periods, uh, irregular menstrual uh, menstrual cycle. So typically, as we all know, we've studied in biology, the menstrual cycle happens after 28 days. In the earlier part of the perimenopause, it could be shorter. So that's one of the symptoms. And what happens is the you know the two female sex hormones one of the uh, one of the hormones starts going down due to that hormone going down the other hormone goes up and women tend to gain weight weight gain is very common mood swings is very common anxiety and depression is very common hot flashes which most of people know and they think menopause is only about hot flashes and that is not accurate but hot flashes is one of the key symptoms Sleep becomes issue. You're not able to sleep at night because of night sweats and and hot flashes. So all these symptoms are associated with perimenopause, even loss of libido sometimes, right? So as we start inching forward towards menopause, the symptoms may change, but these symptoms are generic symptoms. What I'm explaining, they may be different for different women. Every woman is unique. And also they may differ as per ethnic group of women okay so you you talk about holistic wellness for menopause so tell us about some of the holistic holistic wellness methods that are out there for women that are suffering from this yeah so you know like i said one a a woman may experience not necessarily one symptom it all is a, a vicious cycle right so if a woman has heart flashes, she's going to have a problem sleeping at night. And if she hasn't slept at night in the morning, you know, in the morning when she goes to work, she's going to be cranky. So there'll be mood swings and then, then she's not able to work in the workplace. Then there's anxiety, right? It's a typical woman. That's what happened to me. But it's a very typical story. Now, what do you do as a woman? So you can take medication, you know, most of the time, but the holistic wellness, what we are trying to say is that no matter if you take medication, HRT, BHRT, whatever, you need to embrace dietary and lifestyle modifications. So if, for example, mind-body connection, right? We are mind and body is one. It's not two separate compartments right there. So things that you, you should embrace is a proper dietary modifications. You need to change your diet. You need to include movement as medicine, food as medicine, different type of exercises. Then you need to include calming, helping yourself to calm yourself and relax yourself. So therapies such as yoga, Ayurveda, you know, Ayurveda is a complete system, but mindfulness exercises, a meditation, a little bit of meditation, pranayama, breathing exercises, aromatherapy, right? Acu, acupressure, acupuncture as well can help you. Massage therapy can help you. Hypnotherapy can help you. CBT, cognitive behavior therapy can help you. You know, counseling can help you, right? All these things combined, herbs and supplements can help you. Now, some of the other naturopathy um, therapies can also help you. So if you combine all these, these are different therapies. This very can be very confusing, right? For a woman, oh, what should I do now? What should I not do now? But these are different therapies that women can embrace during the perimenopausal years. So their journey towards this whole tumultuous uh, transition is better. Well, why do you feel like talking about menopause in the workplace is so taboo. Yeah, I mean, you just hit the, you know, hit it, the right button here. I, I'm telling you, when I started doing getting into this perimenopause, my personal experience, I was scared to talk to anyone. I was ashamed. I thought that someone's going to judge me. So it's the whole idea that age, right? Age is an uphill battle in, in corporate world all over the world. It doesn't matter corporate America anymore. We are uh, living in the international world right now. So age is an uphill battle. Now you can imagine on top of that, all these symptoms women are having, and and this can be perceived as a woman not being able to 
have proper productivity or or not able to work properly and and women get a little bit like oh my god if i talk to someone i might be perceived as that i can't do my work properly so but this is a natural phase of a woman's life it's not a disease so i think this whole advocacy for corporates to recognize because approximately 50% of their workforce is women nowadays for them not to cater to this age group is actually costing them billions of dollars if you if you if i may say so and it should not be a taboo so it's it's the reason it's taboo is because women feel they'll be judged you know uh, and and corporate corporations haven't really paid attention to and it's not really their fault it's also the society hasn't paid attention to this whole phase of a woman's life which is beyond reproductive years you know i'm not going to blame corporate america only i think it's the overall society too how many times have you gone in a party and a woman is saying oh by the way i am menopausal or i am perimenopausal but you all of us have gone to so many parties where the woman is preg- pregnant and having a baby and that's celebrated so much but this is like hush 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 right it's the society part okay well let us know about nourish doc if if a woman was suffering with perimenopause and they came to you uh, how could your platform help them tell us all about it yeah so you know like i said earlier you know our approach is self care first and embracing of holistic therapies first and then uh, the what we would do is we have two different options one is a self care in the self care it's that's going to be priced less than 10 dollars a month wherein you know you would have we would have an expert once a month come in live and take in the questions and then in addition in addition to that a woman based on her symptoms can start getting bite sized actionable insights into what she can do how she can incorporate the right kind of diet as an example so she can lead herself through this journey based on her symptoms in the self care model along with once a month she has the ability to ask questions and she has a a guide to guide her uh, you know based on her assessment that we can take on online assessment that dip, dip, different type of simple dietary and holistic um uh, tips or ideas that she can do so that is a self care Uh, model that we wanted to release to make it super affordable for every woman there and but the next uh, step is again expert guided but it now it's going to be once a week so every week like we're going to have a um, expert ranging from for example a gynecologist or a sexologist or a hypnotherapist aroma therapist a naturopath or a yoga therapist or a pilates right or a hip so so all these like i explained to you it's 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 not just one thing that happens there are multiple things so every week that women are going to be guided with an expert and they have the ability to ask questions whatever questions they have and this this is the next tier so to speak that women can do to help themselves along with every single day they'll have daily sort of like a simple videos so to speak that are again by experts short bite sized information that they can consume on a daily basis so we have these two options as of now the third option which we will launch would be one on one like a concierge services if someone wants to spend the money and they don't care about the money part then a complete team will be given to them like a naturopathic doctor or a yoga therapist or dietitian and even a counselor so that a complete personalized plan can be put together for a woman and that would price about $250 a month not not ridiculously high but still so that's kind of how we have built a tiered approach to help every single woman who who has the budget and who doesn't have any budget but we still want to help right we want to help each and every woman like i said okay what well, throw out the website so people can c- connect with the with the platform and check it out if they need it yeah so the app is actually coming out um 
within this week or, or next week, right? July 4th, somewhere around that time frame. And, and people can go to the website right now. There is a contact button if they want to um, be on the, you know, want us to inform them when the app is out next week. Um, they can go on the website and uh, fill uh, some kind of a form and we will inform them. But when the app is out, then people can download the app. We give one week free for them to play around. Or if they have any questions, they can talk to a program advisor and if they still have more questions, we are here to help them navigate this journey, as I said earlier. Now, is this app going to be Android and iPhone or what platforms is it going to be released on? Yes, yes. It is going to be on uh, iPhone. Android would be coming soon after. Gotcha. Okay, so close us out with some final thoughts. Maybe if that was something I forgot to touch on that you would like to talk about or any final thoughts you have for the listeners and throw out that website. Yeah, so I just want to say to all the women out there is to really self-care, self-love and not doubt themselves during this phase because um, and, and really take care of themselves. I think investing in yourself is what I want to say because most of the women during this phase, they are probably a mom, a wife, you know, a, a daughter, uh, like so many things, right? Different relationships. And they end up taking care of all the other satellites around them, except for themselves. So my last thoughts are invest in yourself, believe in yourself, take care of yourself. Okay. And, and do you want to give out the website? For listeners? Yes. Yes, the website is um, www.nourishtalk.com. And my name is Amita. And uh, so please check the website out. We are also on all social uh, platforms. You can check us out on Facebook, Insta, LinkedIn, as well as YouTube. All right, ladies and gentlemen, nourishtalk.com. If you know of anybody that is in need of Miss Amita's service, please follow, rate, review, share this episode to as many people as possible. Jump on your favorite podcast app. Check us out. Give us a follow and a review. If you have any guests or suggestion topics, Curtis Jackson, 1978 at att.net is the place to send them. Thank you for listening and supporting the show. And Amita, thank you for joining us and all that you're doing. Thank you so much. For more information on the Living the Dream podcast, visit www.djcurveball.com. Until next time, stay focused on living the dream.